All right, guys, shit is getting crazy over here on this channel. We're gonna have two videos today. I don't know. Uh, the wife's on vacation, so it's like, fuck, I'm bored. Let's do something. Here we go. This is the Tracker Dan Blood Shark. Uh, this is the Surf Sheath and Flat Wrap. So, as you can see, there is a strange sheath. You're looking at it like this. What the hell? So this goes, if you can see the clip, this goes in your pocket. So, okay, watch out. If you have headphones on, it might get loud. So this goes inside your pocket like this. Awesome retention feature. And that's how you draw it. Boom. Just like that. Put it in. Boop. So the other thing with that said is the other ingenious feature. So see how I have it in here like this? You can also put it in backwards. So if you if you uh, are caring to like have a reverse draw or you just want a traditional draw, the sheath ambidextrous, or you're just like fumbling around trying to put it back. Because uh, most knife sheaths, you have to put it in one direction. So it can be a little bit frustrating if you're like, you know, you draw it out and put it, and you're trying to put it away while you're holding onto something. It can be a little frustrating. This is pretty easy. So we'll talk about the knife now. Um, this is the Blood Shark. So it has a flat ground, kind of like a Scandi almost. Not really a Scandi, but a three-quarter grind uh, with a nice wedge at the top. Uh, you can get them in um, dual edge or single. This one's single. Um, for outdoorsy stuff, I think single edge is better. For self-defense, dual edge is probably better. Um, good point on it. Grind is really nice. Uh, the secondary bevel is really nice as well. I mean, this isn't like a looker. This isn't like a knife where you're like, oh my god, it's beautiful. This is all business. This is all designed for use and being able to sharpen it easy and just all around good knife to use for outdoorsy stuff. Or self-defense, really. <clears throat> so, the wrap, this is the flat wrap. So it's paracord with the guts taken out, kind of wrapped around it. Pretty basic, but it works. So then you also see this lanyard bobbling around. This is called the froggy lanyard. So you look at it and you're like, okay, well, why has it got this long ass tail on it? It's pretty smart. So when I drew it earlier, I don't know if you noticed, but I had my hand like this. So this is how you tug it out because it's so deep in that sheath, you can't get your fingers on it to try and pull it out. So that's what this is here for. So as you draw it like that, it's actually wrapped around your lower fingers. So it locks your fingers in place. So if you're drawing it in traditional style like this, your pinky and your index finger are locked in. And if you want to flip it around the opposite way to a reverse grip, now your index and middle finger are locked in. So you can really get a good tight grip on it. And then the other feature you can use it for is, see how it has these two grip sections? You can wrap it around your pinky and ring finger, choke back, and now you can use it to chop. And then if you're really crazy, I guess you could try to like, you could even go a little further back maybe. Um, I haven't really tried it this style yet. You can get a little further back maybe, but there's lots of different options for it. So a really simple design that just works. Um, this is probably replaced 85% of what I carry on a daily basis, even though it's kind of like wishy-washy on the rules for fixed blades in California. At least when it's in the sheath like this and all you see is this, it kind of looks like a, a folder. So um, I don't recommend breaking the law, of course, but you probably get away with this. I have. Um, these are really hard to get, like everything that's great in our lovely knife community. I think this, uh, with a trainer, the sheath, and the live blade, it was 400 bucks direct from Dan. Um, good luck getting it direct. I think these go on the secondary for six or 700 bucks. Really simple, really good knife. Highly recommend it. If you can find one, hop on it. Uh, he's got a couple different styles. So this is the Blood Shark. This is kind of like his bread and butter. This is probably the most popular model. He has a miniature version, which is called the Kara Shark, which is pretty much the same blade design, just a little bit shorter, uh, the edge. Uh, he has a knife called Punch Badger, which is called, it's like a karambit, but it's, it really looks awkward. It almost looks like, like a pistol. Like the blade comes out like this, and then the handle, and then the loop. Um, 
I've seen some videos of it. The way it's designed, it's at that 90 degree angle. It has so much force on that, that front edge. It just is devastating. Um, what else does he have? Oh, he's got a really nasty looking uh, tomahawk type axe with like a point on one side and then this crazy edge on the front. Not a lot of this stuff is designed for um, like woodsy type stuff. I mean, obviously the knife is, but the tomahawk, it's not like a woods tomahawk. It's like chop somebody's dome open kind of tomahawk uh, to pierce armor and some other shit. Pretty cool stuff. Um, check it out. I think he's got a couple different websites. If not, you've seen him on Instagram and all the other shit. I'm not advertising for him or whatever. He's, he's doing that fine on his own. But, uh, hope you liked the video. Let me know what you think of the, uh, Tracker Dan Blood Shark. Thanks.